Hey, this is Esther, your level 99 AliExpress advisor. We have a new episode today. What are we unboxing? I'll let you know in a minute, but before, have you liked and subscribed to our channel? Please do, it helps us quite a bit. You're probably wondering why I'm in a home setting, like I'm chilling, I am chilling, and I am in a home setting. What do people normally have in their houses? They have screens, and what do people do with screens? They project stuff, which is why, ta da da da. We have an excellent product to show you how easily you can project your movies, your games, really whatever you want, to a screen like a television. Peek-a-doo! HDMI wireless transporter and receiver. You don't need an HDMI wire at all. So two of the major selling points that this product boosts is one, it does not need a Wi-Fi. You can just connect it to your phone and off you go. How convenient is that? The second is the lag point. The latency on this is very, very, very short. It's actually 2.5 milliseconds. That's pretty fast. Let's unbox to see what's in it and talk about the features further. So we have two parts here. This is the receiver. This is what you would plug into your TV. It is what receives the signal from this guy. This is the transmitter. This is what you will plug into the source, which is your iPhone, a game console, whatever have you. It does come with Type-C, so we did get an additional front, which is for an iPhone. So the main part is this HDMI thing that gets plugged into here. So if you do have a computer that supports HDMI cables, um, you can actually just use this. You don't need any of this extra stuff here. You just plug it right into your computer. But because we were using an Apple and it doesn't have an HDMI built in, we need this extra additional part on top. This right here is the receiver. And I mean, it's pretty like simple what it comes with. This is the receiver and these are the two cables. One of the cables is actually a power cable, while the other one is the original HDMI cable that goes into your source. So this is what will be plugged in into a TV, and this part gets plugged into this receiver right here. Now we're gonna go ahead, plug it in, and see if all the features that it boasts, no app needed, no Wi-Fi needed, 2.5 latency period, if that's really true at all or not. It gives you a little holder to put on your TV, which is super neat so that it's not laying around and looking dirty. It's also quite light, light and just looks really sleek and nice. These are the little coils that you need to push into this guy right here so that it can hold it. Voila, quite simple. Then you're gonna go ahead and take your HDMI cable that's plugged into the receiver and you're gonna plug it into one of the signals in the back. The red light means that this thing is plugged in and ready to go. The blue light means that it's searching for a transmitter. The green light means that it's plugged in and connected to the transmitter and you're now ready to project on your display. So we plugged it into the computer and it's incredibly fast. It projects on like super quickly and then also when you're using your laptop, obviously you can see the use of it on the TV and it's almost the exact same like in real time. So that's pretty cool. It's super convenient. You plug it in and it's like ready to go. And I think even less than under 2.5 milliseconds. So on a laptop, it's pretty good because you can directly plug this thing in. And as long as you have the transmitter, which is on your TV, super convenient once you figure out how to do it all. I know you're all hyped up and thinking, wow, this is great. I'm going to go buy it. Wait a sec. Before you do, I know it freaking works brilliant on a MacBook, but does it work well on a phone? Let us show you. So there's a little hole right here. The moment I plug this in, this one should turn blue and then should turn green to say that it's actually transmitting the signal to that guy right there. Let's go ahead and find out. It's not even on. <sighs> this actually needs to be plugged in into a power source so that it can have battery. Otherwise, it doesn't turn on at all. Wow, what a disappointment. Plug it in here. By this point, I have like 700 cables. Like, why would I just use an HDMI? Seriously, though. Oh, there we go. 
There's our blue light. Did you see that? And now it turned green. Woohoo! The only thing is, this needs to stay plugged in. So I really can't like move. I have to sort of be sitting here the whole time if I want to be on my phone, which is very freaking annoying. Okay, so we're ready to go. Want to do it behind the TV so we can actually show you real time what it looks like. Um, I'm currently swiping through all the apps on the phone and it responds super, super fast. Oh, it's pretty much just real time. So when you go on YouTube, it actually changes. It says connected to AirPlay, uh, which means you actually need to click the connected source button that you see on YouTube on top and then it gives you different options to connect. It just has a mind of its own. Sometimes it connects and then we're like, oh cool, it's working. And then all of a sudden it just disconnects and gives you a QR code to scan. We're not really sure why it's doing that. If it's just this particular maybe product that we've received that's shitty or if it's all of them are shitty, but our experience of this is certainly not been present pleasant and one more thing it's not efficient at all i mean we've been here for almost like two hours now and at the end of the day we have not watched even one video at the end of the day the whole point of this thing is to make it super fast for you to connect and just ready to go and play versus an hdmi cable which is sometimes hard to connect and just not convenient but this product does not really eliminate the use of an HDMI cable because as we saw, it sometimes works and it sometimes does not. I guess that could be why people use HDMI. Sure, it's inconvenient, but I know for a fact that when I want to project something, I can with an HDMI cable, even if it's old fashioned. What do you guys think? Do you think this is something that's useful? Do you maybe know another product brand that you've used for HDMI wireless, which is better? Please let us know. We'd love to give it a try in our next episode.